Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three. Whoop. 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 I forgot to record an intro, so yeah, we're gonna get, uh, you're gonna get a little preview. There's, uh, something going on up there. Right up there. Right above my head. Way up. And, uh, there might be a little something else happening. But, yeah, it's fun. It's great. Uh, <laughs> I think we're gonna kick it off with, uh, a little something special. Okay, I just need to remember that I... I just need to do that and that. Oh, I am so sorry. I forgot to hit record. I got so excited when I finally found a guest. I forgot to hit record. I feel really awful about that. But not awful enough to do it again. <sighs> Angel ring, get. I get to keep my cursed lasso and my golden lasso and just, I've got my armor and my hearts and everything, which means I am definitely in game mode one or zero. Flight. I've got flight. Okay. Oh, man. I'm so excited. <laughs> here is my setup so far. I need to put another gizmo here. And we are... See? That's what I thought. It takes 32 to fly. Even though... Yeah. It uses 32 GP. So it takes two of these pumping at full force, uh, but I'll add another one there and we'll have plenty left over. Now someone was saying that it doesn't much matter whether the chunks are loaded or not, so I don't have a chunk loader. Let's come out here. We're gonna give it a short amount of time. And by now, all those chunks should have unloaded and... <gasps> oh! I thought you had to have a chunk loader. You don't need chunk loading? That's so much better! Oh... <laughs> Guys! I can fly around putting out all the fires! <laughs> That's me, nether health and safety. I always put out the fires. Because you get enough of them in one location. And it just sort of wrecks things. People on lower end systems lose all the FPSs. So, I've got a high end system. I like to put everything out. <sighs> Ooh. Let's see what's down here. Ooh. Nether diamonds. Cool. Nether Lapis. Oh. You're gonna die, buddy. And I'm not scared of you at all, because you can't get to me. I want that pearl. <laughs> oh, now I just need a magnet. Let's go get to work on that. 
Okay, first things first. We need to get some of this going. Excellent. And now, if we just... Yep. Right click with an empty hand. That is so much easier. There we go, four day blooms. Ah, oh, come on. Graphics lag. Oh! I thought I had a butts of tuna already. Why in the world? Aha! I unclaimed this chunk. There we go. Do, 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 do. So we need a mana good. Oh, I can't wait. Oh wait, I can fly. <laughs> Whoop. I forgot to pick my wand back up from the... chest. So yeah, when I was going around hunting these, uh, what do you call them? There we go. And now we're just going to bump, bump. slowly and we'll start filling that up cool so while I was hunting for the gas I didn't keep my wands and stuff on me I kept a very minimal stuff but I did wear out my poor little pick look at that picking up all these nether ores and you put nether ores through a uh, smelter furnace uh, and you get two vanilla ores so that is awesome I'm gonna go fortune these and see what we get starting with this and why do we start with lapis well because we put it on our tool and we get luck three which is the same thing as fortune three Dunk. perfect now we can fortune the heck out of everything and I'm not doing anything fancy just setting it up in here knocking it down so I will catch you guys when that's Oh, baby! <laughs> Quite a lot of stuff. Quite a lot of stuff. This is very good. But this is also very good. I'm going to be putting those to good use. Let's block these up. That feels good. Gotta admit. actually believe it was like that and I'm just stick the whip on here Duke. A -duke. perfect now then we're going to make a whole bunch more of these actually That's 
free. Oop. Thank you. Five. Perfect. Oop. And that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, let's grab. Oh my. I love that I can fly. <sighs> Gotta get that magnet. I don't know if I properly explained this before, but putting that down there, it's generating 11. The big determining factor is the height that the water is on the block. So everybody knows that water when you set it on out on the ground, it travels out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can call this at a height of eight, the source block, and this at a height of seven. And as long as we've got sevens on all four sides. Oops finish off this one. Doot, doot, doot. Ba -doo -doo -doot, doot, doot. Perfect. As long as we've got sevens on all four sides, it generates 16 grid power. So I'm now generating 64. I could technically run two angel rings if, you know, that were possible. So we'll just close that in. And now... The water has to be flowing to the side, which means we need to have holes above where we've got the water sources here. so long ago it was like yesterday where's <laughs> okay so again we come up for because that keeps that in line and now we just reach down and grab that one and we'll sling it up here we'll take that one put it there we'll take this one put it there pull that one up here and now 128. <laughs> you gotta love that. <sighs> Let's go get sleep and then uh, we'll finish up making that magnet. So I'm out hunting flowers, right? Because if you're gonna do Britannia, you need all the flowers. And seeing as how I can fly now, I'm really not that far from my base. 200 meters. And what do I find? Look at this place. I may be moving, guys. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's all purple. That's maybe too purple. It's a lavender fields biome. Yeah, I like purple, but you know what? It's a nice place to visit, but I'm probably not going to live here. We'll stick to where, what we're doing. That is canola. Not what I need. I need more blue flowers. Give me blue. Anyways, I'm going to return to the hunt. and just had to show you this right next door. Okay. Most of my day blooms have already turned into shrubs. They last a short while, but they have given us enough mana. Perfect. <laughs> I think that's going to be a thing. So now we want one there and one there. And then where are, there we go. One like that, one like that. Yes. And then we'll need one, two, three of those. Awesome. Okay, mana distributor goes next to the mana pool. Oh, eh, that's fine. Good, good, good. <laughs> I almost did it again. You know what? No, I'm gonna claim it. That's mine. That's my thing. I do the perfect. It's not great, but it's my thing. I may as well take the dirt here. And this is our next structure. Soon as these you know what? No. These day blooms are done. They've had their day. We're going to take this. Thank you. And we're going to set it right there, which should automatically, yeah, automatically seize the main mana distributor. Now, we're going to grab some water. I'm so glad I can fly because this stuff sucks if you gotta walk. Good. Now. I'm going to grab a piece of sugar cane because I did this off screen and you should probably see it. If you take sugar cane, turn it into sugar and throw it in here, you get a mana powder. We need eight mana powders, a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of these. Uh, let's get some space on our bar. these and that should be good so I'm actually gonna rearrange these a little bit there we put oh that already has water so two of them two of them one of these perfect Now, these are going to decay after a short while as well, but they're going to make a massive amount of uh, mana before they do. So, I don't mind so much. Come on. There we go. And... Oops. Done. Now, these will go like that, and like that, and like that, and like that, and then again around the top, and watch how often that fires. Yes! 
Yes, 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 yes. Now we'll just double check and make sure it's not being overwhelmed, which it's not. I think one of these could actually take like four tiers of this. So no real danger there. Let's get some daytime going. Oh man, isn't quite the best. I gotta say, I like it. And now we've got mana happening. We've got everything going the way we need it to. Not quite. Okay. The next thing we're going to need to make is a Linux altar. Ooh. Ah, can use it. Mana diamond, that's fine. We've got plenty of diamonds now. not a lot of stuff that uses the lime petal, so, huh, and we need gold. I may just take those trees down. No, I'll leave them. Let's grab a bunch of gold. Come on. There we are. of things to come. Uh, da, 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 da. So is that. Oh, I wasn't looking it up in there. We need, I th think, here we go. No, mana, aura. That's what we want. Rune of mana. That one has to be a mana pearl and five ingots. So, I'll grab that. Uh, I've stored. Yep. We'll grab that. I've seen the odd Enderman or two. Automatically gonna start loading up with mana. We're gonna need one of them. Ooh, it only got to half. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, plan is I'm gonna make one of these. And then 
me yeah probably one of these which a mana tablet is also pretty easy another mana diamond and no problem and then we're going to make a one of these which means a whole bunch more mana steel I can handle that anyways once I've got all those done I will see you shortly and we're done so now we put the band of aura there we put the band of magnetization there and this is gonna start so the band of aura is going to just passively generate mana and store it in the band of mana the band of mana is going to wiggle around while it's getting mana <laughs> We can toss in here and if this is set to put stuff into mana tablets it's gonna suck up that mana and then we can come over here and this one is set to drain it from and it gets pulled in and now we got a little bit more mana And then we want to take a block of iron and you just chuck it in there. Oop, come on. To get man of steel. Then we're going to come over here and make man of steel armor. Excellent. Oh, need two more. Don't think I've got enough mana to. Oh, yes! <laughs> so, we'll do some of that for pants. And then boots. probably have enough. I do not. Oh, 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 come on. I'm not pulling it out of that one because I'm going to need to make some runes. Oh, by one. So close. There we go. <sighs> Fiddle. So the cool thing about the Man of Steel stuff is it doesn't really look great. It looks a lot better than it used to. I like the new custom models and everything, but the fun thing is, wait a minute, we need another mana pearl. And I'm being wasteful with my pearls, but I don't care. And there's a reason I don't care. And that reason is right there. And right there. Yeah. I've got a I've got an Enderman spawner. I'm going to make an Enderman farm. Oh, flip. Come on. Manage in. Good. And good. Oh. Gotta be getting close. Let's see. Yeah, I figured. Okay. 
So we make the pearl and let's we're trying to make this stuff. Pearl dye glass okay. It used to just be ink sacks, so I've been collecting them. And I think all my glass is over here. And that leaves us two. So, wah. I'm going to do that. That, and that, for Phantom Ink. And now, even though I'm wearing armor, I just look like me in a funky hat. <laughs> the other cool thing is, uh, the, my armor, it's going to use mana out of my band of mana before it uses durability. So let's see if we can make the hat. Almost. Come on. Yes. Oh, whoop. Bump. And. Oh. And now I am basically in full iron armor, but you can't tell, can you? <laughs> Love it. Okay, guys, I was just bringing some sheep back because we need wool. And I accidentally killed one, but it dropped. <laughs> there are these little blue blobs that you cannot hurt unless you've got splash potions of farming, which is why I was so excited to get the brewing stand and get the splash potions and all that together. Now, once you've got two, you can make a specter sword, and now the sword will damage those. So while I was out... Uh, <clears throat> While I was out working with the bringing the sheep back, I accidentally killed one and it spawned one of the little guys. So now we are going to make. Come on. Three of these. Oh no! something. I need them for chests. Dang it. Oh. Okay. Next up, we're getting this thing online. Okay, so I made an item collector and now we're going to do that and that. And then, oh, of course, I left all my better. I've got to do something to move that silly wind generator off of my off of my base. Here we 
here we go. Come on. There we are. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four, should be right there. So good to have the magnet. Oh. <laughs> the direction you want them to face and they work through walls which is good because we need that a little darker and <laughs> I'm gonna put a windmill or two going into this and then I think it actually picks up the items so I might not have needed the item collector. Let's put that on the back there for now. And yeah, let me get a couple of windmills going into this and we'll see what happens. Okay, so I needed more diorite, of course. And here, somewhere this direction, there's a witch. I was just, I was up here, wasn't I? And if we can get that witch, life would be good. Oh, what am I saying? Life's already good. But that witch would be pretty smoothie to have. Let's see. Checking my mini now. can definitely hear it. Maybe above us? Oh, wait a minute. Come. Gotta get used for that. Because nobody likes these silly. Ugh. The witch is laughing at me. Well, there's water above this, so. <laughs> okay guys oop hang a light it's this video is starting to run pretty long so i'm gonna finish up that spawner and next episode i think we're gonna build a digital miner uh so yay let's see not that button that button once again, I am Leah Sara. This has been Biffitech episode three. And uh, if you enjoyed this the episode, please leave a like. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you'd subscribe so I can see you all next time.